It's well known that India and Pakistan have been engaged in an enduring rivalry, with Pakistan considering nuclear weapons as a critical asset in this competition. Pakistan always prioritised its military strength over its economy and politics, granting the military greater importance in governance than administrative institutions. As a result, Pakistan relies more on a formidable military force rather than a stable government to govern the nation. And unfortunately, India remains the primary target of this military focus. Recently, Pakistan commemorated the 25th anniversary of its first successful nuclear test with a ceremony at the Institute of Strategic Studies in Islamabad. During this event, retired Lieutenant General Khalid Kidwai delivered a speech discussing Pakistan's long-term nuclear policy and emphasizing their preparedness for a three-pronged defense against India, covering land, water, and air scenarios. According to Khalid's speech, Pakistan possesses nuclear weapons that can be deployed in land, water, and air-based situations. The Army Strategic Forces Command, ASFC, is ready to counter India's land-based nuclear capabilities. The Naval Strategic Forces Command, NSFC, focuses on sea-based scenarios, and the Air Force Strategic Command, AFSC, prepares for aerial defense. Apart from these specific commands, Pakistan is prepared to develop and deploy various defense strategies against India, utilizing both strategic planning and practical methods, as outlined by Khalid. Nuclear weapons are regarded as a significant element of defense across all domains. There is a belief that Pakistan has established a nuclear shield to deter adversaries, particularly India. Recent developments in Pakistan's military strategies include the zero-range capability involving the placement of nuclear landmines along the India-Pakistan border. However, these plans remain speculative, as Pakistan does not openly disclose its nuclear intentions, creating uncertainty around its nuclear program. Pakistan highlights its nuclear deterrent through media coverage, employing missile testing and preparedness as part of its military strategy. The country's focus on nuclear weapons has grown since 2019, particularly in response to India's Balakot airstrike. In the 1970s and 1980s, Pakistan initially pursued nuclear weapon development due to the Soviet Union's invasion of Afghanistan, which posed a nuclear threat, leading to Pakistan's reliance on the United States for support. Despite international concerns, Pakistan successfully conducted nuclear tests in 1998. However, the practical effectiveness of their strategies and plans remains uncertain, largely influenced by international relations and the feasibility of employing nuclear weapons. Pakistan has also been actively engaged in counter-terrorism efforts, as its powerful military has not been able to secure victory in any conflicts against India thus far. As part of their nuclear umbrella strategy, Pakistan offers protection and support to terrorist groups wielding nuclear weapons. The Pakistan government's involvement in fueling insurgency against India further complicates the situation. Time will reveal the true impact of Pakistan's nuclear terrorism strategy on India.